So this will be take number two. My audio got messed up on the last one. I don't know how. I'm not going to be reusing any clips. So just had to bring that up. Now this will be a different video from what I normally do. This is a little bit of a review type video. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. I'll try to produce more. Now coming from my experience, I have two years with Volkswagen. I've owned a couple of Volkswagen cars. I've developed my own bias based off of that. So let's get into it. So we have the 2024 Volkswagen Jetta GLI 40th edition. Straight off the bat, black accents are lovely, lovely. I wish more Volkswagen cars came with black accents. Volkswagen does their colors really well, but they tend to overdo it and make their like whole car one color when they could really use a lot more black accents. So what's interesting is it's the 40th birthday. It's the 40th birthday edition in 1984. I love this, but... It says it's enthusiast focused. And as we get through this, you're going to see how it's not enthusiast focused at all. It's not at all. So let's get to it. Now, 1,984 will only be made. That I like. I like when you keep it exclusive, exclusive, because especially if you get it in something like a manual, it's only going to grow in value over time. So let's look at our first picture here. What I will say is Volkswagen does honeycomb very, very, very well. I love Volkswagen honeycomb. Now, one thing I'm going to nitpick here is the lipstick on the front bumpers here. I, I call it lipstick because it looks gross. And, like, it doesn't need to be there. I know people who've just painted them, gotten rid of them, chopped them off. Not a lot of people are big fans of that lipstick. Personally, I'm not, so that, I'm going to leave it at that. That front end, blacked out grill, you know, like most, most Volkswagens, and mirrors. Now, I do like the mirrors. I feel like mirrors on Volkswagens look very good blacked out. That's just personal opinion. One thing I noticed right off the bat, gray emblem. That is super sweet. I don't think I've seen any other car Volkswagen that they've changed to the color of the car they changed the emblem color to the car i love that that's huge to me that i like there you go there's one thing enthusiast focused one thing now pure gray pure white and rising blue i love pure gray i think volkswagen does gray very 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 well i love volkswagen gray now from the side here i'm gonna nitpick a little bit I love the Mark 6 generation front ends, and I hate the Mark 7 generation front ends, I, and I love the Mark 7 generation rear ends. It's a lot sharper and smoother, and I like that. That's a lot better. But for the Mark 6 generation, their tail ends look kind of dull. They look gross. I honestly don't like the Mark 6 generation tail ends. 18-inch wheels, depending on where you are, those wheels are going to make a huge difference for you. They said... And a spoiler? Where's the spoiler on that? You you mean that nub? You mean that nub on the very back there? That, like, four pixels of nub? Yeah, that, that's quite the spoiler, Volkswagen. Ooh, look at this interior. I'm gonna... I said this once, and I'm gonna say it again. Volkswagen just mastered the cockpit vibe with how they have angles everywhere, and I have, like, the radio angled towards you. I feel like that's so sharp and smooth. I absolutely love that. It looks so nice. So nice. As we see, they got the uh, red shift knob. That's super sweet. Littered with 40th anniversary badging. I see... Is that one? Is that... I, I don't see 40th anniversary anywhere. All right. Let's keep moving. Here we go. That's where I was looking. We got one badge. So when it's littered, that just means one badge. All right. So one there, just one. That's how you know. Okay, there we go. On a kick plate, we have one. Okay, that's not bad, you know. On the seat. Okay, so there's three. We have three things. Okay, now we have the cup holders. Okay, so there's 1984 to represent its birth year. And there you go. Look, I like that. I do like that. That looks very sharp to me. These patterns I'm really in love with. I think they look really good. 
as long as I can get these seats in leather, because cloth is just terrible, and if I can get it in leather, I would be all about it. All about it. Could you imagine stitching those patterns into the seat? That in itself would make the car worth way more. <laughs> I said it once, so I'm going to say it again. Volkswagen does brakes so nice. Look at how big that front brake is. I love that. I wish more car companies would do that. I love, love, love this. That's all I need said. I could go on for days. Fake exhaust tips. That's where Volkswagen went wrong. You got rid of the noise your car makes and you made it digitalized on the inside. Why should I like your car? You're known for your golfs, manuals, and noise. You're taking away your noise. Just a little bit. Hey, look, there's those four pixel spoilers that Volkswagen was talking about. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. 12. I will admit, I like the LED lights on the back here. But look at those white lines. I don't know how I feel about that. Because I think those are your reverse lights. It's, I don't know how I feel about that. Because that's like, kind of gives off like Mazda vibes. On like the newer Mazdas. How they have the white lines in back. Yeah, I don't know entirely how I feel about that. Okay, let's zoom out a little here. Okay, just having to have a heart attack. That's cool. Um, so yeah, Lipstick. And look, they, they didn't even put holes in these like they did the front grills. They just covered them up. That's that's cheapness for you there. That's cheap Volkswagen. Black rims, they might be a pain in the ass to clean, but I love them. GLI 40 badge on the side, I would like that. I dig that. I've always been a fan of the emblems on the side. I think they're great. Get a thumbs up for me on that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Spoiler, oh, could you imagine the downforce you'll get from that? <sighs> Crush the competition with that whole 228 horsepower. Don't you worry, Volkswagen. You don't have to bring the horsepower up to 300 like you did on all the other Golfs. Just leave the Jettas at a measly 200. That's cool. So, yeah. Plenty of reviews. Not happy about this. Personally, I think it's nothing special. You, you put badges. You put some engravements in your cup holders. You put a fancy design on the seat, and that's it. That's how you memorize your 40th edition. That's it. Just, yeah, I'm not impressed. 2017 GLI over this, I'll take it any day of the week. Only thing I really, really like is, I'm, I'm going to say it again, the cup holders. That was, like, the most unique thing, besides the seats. And the seats aren't even really that cool. Like, you could go buy an aftermarket seat for 500 bucks and put it in your car. You know? Like, it's nothing that cool. You got your lipstick. You got your fake honeycomb up here. But then your grill is real. I can't say I'm impressed, but I like where they're going. More black accents. You need more horsepower, Volkswagen. I'm sorry think your VTEX are beating you at this point. So, I'll just go back up to number one. I don't know how I feel about those orange lights in the middle. That's kind of eh for me. But, other than that, let's. I'm going to take it to a little bit of talk with you guys to get a little bit more personal here. That was my complete review. If you're done, you can leave a like or whatever. Get Put a little comment there saying what you think. If I should do more or not, that's up to you. I will uh, completely leave it up to you guys on how far this series goes. Now, this channel, for some reason, keeps getting pushed as a detailing channel. I've tried my best to steer it away from that, change different settings, and trying to... This isn't a detailing channel. Now, don't get me wrong. I do all the detailing on my own vehicles and my family's vehicles. I polish, I wax, I restore paint. If you're interested in videos on that, let me know. We can definitely go there. But... Yeah, I only like two couple second shorts on some detailing stuff ever on this channel. And when I logged in on a signed out account, that's like as soon as I'd watch one of these videos, just detailing video after detailing video. So that's why I was, that raised a little red flag for me. This is not a detailing channel. I'm not entirely sure where this channel is going to go. I'm trying to cover everything Volkswagen because I genuinely enjoy everything Volkswagen and their vehicles. I've only detailed my cars like once a year, two times a year, 
So it's very rare that I actually make a video on something like that. So that's definitely something I'm trying, I'm trying to get a gauge on what my audience likes, my very large audience and trying to see what works well in people's brains, you know, I think that will be it. Thank you for stopping by. If you're trying to get one of these 1,984, these 40th editions cars, don't forget to like, and subscribe and, uh, that'll be